Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna to be playing around with some liquid lipsticks from Carity. I recently was sent all nine of their newest shades of their recently rebranded The Matte Liquid Lipsticks. So I asked you guys over on my Instagram stories if you would like to see me do a dedicated lip swatch video and uh, the majority of you guys said yes. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. I have uh, just sacrificed my poor lips by putting on and taking off all nine shades. I, I think I'll survive, but I'm, uh, I'm definitely gonna need to do like a lip mask or like some kind of crazy hydrating treatment when I go to bed tonight. As a totally unrelated aside, I've kind of futzed around with my lighting today and I think it looks pretty good. We'll see how the footage is when I uh, import this later. So let me know if you guys like the way the lighting is looking in this video. Also, I like decked out my background for spring. I know it's still February and uh, it will probably snow until April here but I just I don't care I'm just like I'm over it I'm so ready to channel spring vibes so hopefully you guys will enjoy the whole like floral situation that's happening behind me anyway you guys are here for the makeup so let's chat a little bit more about these liquid lipsticks so now Carity came out with liquid lipsticks last year they called them their lip lock liquid lipsticks and I was sent shades of those not the entire collection but I think also about nine shades from that initial release I will link for you guys the lip swatch video that I did of that original collection up here in the cards and also in the description box if you want to go check it out. All of those shades are still available for you to purchase. I believe they just have changed the labeling on the packaging to now say Carity the Mattes instead of Carity Lip Lock. I'm assuming they're probably releasing a non-matte liquid lipstick somewhere down the road. I don't know that for sure but I'm assuming that the reason they rebranded these ones as the mattes is because they're going to have ones that aren't matte. Now, as far as the packaging goes, they look pretty much identical as the lip locks. The only difference is that these ones say the mattes on the packaging and they don't say lip lock on the back, which I honestly am pretty happy about because if you watched my original review video that I did way back when, I felt like, and this is such a dumb thing, but the font looked really cheap and kind of like cheesy on the old packaging. I just felt like it looked like knockoff makeup and like I know this is an affordable brand but it's weird fonts are one of those things that can like make or break something they really they give a lot to a brand so I didn't like that on the original ones so those are no more and I feel like the way that they are now is a little bit nicer I'm pleased and according to Carity the formula hasn't changed the price hasn't changed these are still six dollars they're a long wearing matte liquid lipstick it is a very liquidy formula it does dry down to an almost powdery finish but I have to say these new ones I feel like they are a little bit different from the original lip locks maybe I'm just crazy but I was wearing the shade Diana the other day and I felt like it was a lot more comfortable than the last time I was wearing a Carity lip lock like the original lip lock liquid lipsticks so so far performance wise I don't feel like they're drastically different they are very long wearing as long as you don't eat oily foods oils will break down these liquid lipsticks very easily but if you're just drinking like water just eating maybe like a light snack here and there they do hold up pretty well so before we get into the lip swatches of the nine new shades i'll do a few arm swatches for you guys so you can see what all the different colors look like next to one another and tell you a little bit more about them so the first shade is diana this is described as a peachy chestnut this is actually the shade that i wore in my recent makeup playtime video and i really like this a lot it's a nice warm toned peachy pink nude something that is right up my personal alley then next we have the shade all night long this one is described as a cool rosy nude and i actually surprisingly liked this one more than i thought that i would it almost was like a my lips but slightly cooler and just slightly deeper shade. I think with a more cool toned look, this one would be really nice. Then next we have the shade in the 212. Now this one is uh, definitely outside of my comfort zone. It's described as a true brown and uh, I don't normally wear like straight up chocolate brown lip shades very often, but I feel like it does have a kind of cool 
edgy vibe to it. If you were going for a certain kind of look, I think it could be kind of neat. Then we have the shade High Key, which is described as a vibrant orange. I would say this is more of like a neon coral. It's, it's not very orange to me personally. It is very vibrant, very neon, but I feel like, yeah, you definitely get more of that coral pink vibe, then I feel like you get a true orange vibe. Then we have the shade Pepper. This is described as a bright red orange, which y'all know I love me a good red orange. And this I would say is more red than it is orange, but it still is really fun if you want like a super boss vibrant, like I am going to take charge boss lady type lip shade. I mean, you definitely get those vibes from Pepper. Now the shade that I'm wearing on my lips right now is this guy, which is called Ginger Spice. This to me is such a nice fall lip shade. I feel like I wish I had this in October because it's giving me like all of the pumpkin-y goodness kind of vibes. So Ginger Spice is described as a burnt orange and I definitely feel like that is the case with this color. It's got that sort of like warm terracotta-y goodness going on. Then we have the shade Primrose Hill. This is described as a violet mauve, which I, I don't really love these types of colors. Very, very blue-based pinks and like light purple shades, I feel like really clash with the undertones in my skin because I am so yellow, I'm so warm. I just feel like mm, they don't they don't flatter me, but I feel like on the right person, they could look kind of cool. And then these last two shades are definitely way out there, but if you're into like really artistic makeup, you may love these. So we have 99 Problems, which is described as a true navy blue. I mean, this is definitely a mood right here. Like if you if you want to feel like a badass, uh, then you might want to rock a dark navy blue lip liner. It is a really cool color. I just, I don't know how much I personally would wear this outside of the house. And then finally, we have Machas Gracias, which I definitely give points to for having an adorable name. This one is described as a dusty camo green, and uh, I can't ever say that I had a desire to wear green lipstick before, and I don't know if I ever truly will, but uh, it is kind of cool to have the option. So here are all nine shades for you guys swatched so you can see what they look like. Definitely an interesting and very trendy assortment to add to their lineup. So now that you guys are a little bit more familiar with all nine shades, let's cut to the lip swatches so you can see what these guys look like on my face.
All right, so a few final thoughts to wrap up this video. So if you noticed while you were watching the lip swatch portion of this video, this liquid lipstick formula is a little bit on the thin side. If you go in with one coat on the lips, I feel like it goes on pretty patchy. Or if you basically go back over a place where you've just applied lipstick, it kind of removes it. Fortunately, it does layer up on itself really well. It doesn't get like weird and crackly it doesn't flake off so I would say you probably are gonna have to go in with a few dips into the tube to get full opacity on your lips especially with some of the darker and bolder colors like 99 problems went on a bit streaky at first same thing with matchas gracias I noticed it especially in high key I feel like this one went on very patchy at first but once you kind of finesse it and it dries down, I think it looks pretty nice, so that's good. Something also to note, I wanna show you guys the applicator on this. I like that it has kind of a divot cut out in it and it's fairly pointed at the tip. It makes it a lot easier to apply this precisely, especially the more dark and bold shades that you kind of have to be careful. With this type of matte liquid lipstick formula, it's not very forgiving if you get it outside of the lines. So I like the fact that at least this is easy if you take your time to get a nice crisp lip line with. And let me tell you guys, removing these from my lips to swatch another color was a bear. It was so hard to get off with a lipstick wipe, which definitely does go to show that these are long wearing liquid lipsticks. They will last pretty well, like I said before, as long as you're not eating anything really oily. I used my uh, organic to green cocoa oil to take these off, especially like right around the lip line if I couldn't get it off with a makeup wipe and that did the trick. So that says to me, if you're eating something super greasy, odds are you're gonna see all of your liquid lipstick go from the center of your lips. But for six, dollars I feel like these aren't bad by any means like I said I didn't feel like these were as drying as I remembered them being I do still have a few shades of the original lip locks but I haven't purchased any more since that original PR box that I was sent last year with the first round of colors so I'm definitely excited to have some new shades to play around with I feel like this new launch definitely is much more artistic and funky and fun so if you've been jonesing for some of these like weird colors in your lip collection and you don't want to spend $20 on a high-end liquid lipstick because a lot of times you only find these really cool shades in high-end brands. So to be able to only have to spend $6 if you've always wanted to try a blue lipstick, I feel like that's nice. It's not going to like totally break the bank. So all in all, I'm really thankful to Carity for sending these over to me so I could test them out and swatch them for you guys. I probably will not keep all of these shades. Let's be honest, I know that I personally am probably never going to wear green lipstick, but maybe there's someone in my life that will. But I am really excited to have a few new warm toned lip options to add to my collection, especially ones that are at a super affordable price point that I can recommend to you guys. And of course, I would love to hear your thoughts on these new liquid lipstick shades as well. Are any of them speaking to you? Do you think they're worth $6? Would you ever wear a blue or a green liquid lipstick? Definitely let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts are. And if you enjoyed this video and you like it when I test out and swatch and demo new makeup, give it a thumbs up. I always really appreciate your feedback. Subscribe if you want to see more videos from me in the future. Next week we're going to be getting into all of my like month end wrap ups, my beauty report, my makeup playtime update, all that kind of good stuff. So stay tuned for that coming your way on Tuesday. And on that note, I'm gonna let you guys go. It's a Friday evening. I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing tonight, if I'm doing anything, but I feel like I should probably figure out what our dinner situation is. It's like 4.30 in the afternoon and I have not thought about it at all. So I'm gonna go text my husband, but I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.